Hi, I'm Jules T and welcome back to my channel. I was spending a lot of time studying female corporate leaders that could make a change to the world. And when I googled individuals in this category, one name keep coming up. Her name is Indra Nui, CEO, ex-chairman of PepsiCo. When I was scrolling up and down the Instagram, one of her videos came up and got me really interested to study more about her. So I went through her YouTube video videos or trainings and I came upon a conclusion of three things that I would like to share with you that can help inspire encourage women to pursue in the corporate ladder one of the very important lessons I learned was competency Indra was a graduate from the Yale School of Management a graduate business school of Yale University a lot of people will work so hard to get into these prestigious universities like Oxford Oxford University, Harvard University, Stanford University, MIT. It's good to have these degrees. A base point to enter one of the best companies in the world. No doubt you have an MBA from a prestigious school. But after three to four months, people will start asking what can you actually do for the company. And that's where you as a fresh graduate need to find your core competencies, what you're really good at. So your degrees, your masters, your PhDs will only get you into the company. But what you do with them, how you incorporate the skills, the knowledge that you learn to your job that makes all the difference. So if you are a fresh graduate, what are the things that can make you stand out so it's about identifying your high potential skill and really honing these skills that will set you apart from the rest of the people in your organization that makes you indispensable to the company and that is the competency that you want to work at another thing I learned is, is competency is not about being really good at what you're doing in your current role yes when you first start you need to know your stuff your own area of expertise and you need to drill really deep in depth to know the in and out of your scope of work but after that you need to start to go wide means that you not only take care of what you're currently doing but you must be aware or be alert or look out for opportunities in the areas that is surrounding what you currently do so let me share with you one of the experiences i went through i was actually giving a presentation to our cio who was looking at our organization long-term plans i was presenting this with a couple of other managers within the same organization and my boss was actually chairing the meeting and after my presentation i started to zone out and focus on my other tasks at the end of the entire meeting i bumped into my boss at the hallway on the way to the pantry she asked me jules what is my task earlier in the meeting because i was so busy chairing the meeting i didn't have time to take notes and i was so shocked because i only took notes for things that i was responsible for for and I failed to take note I failed to read the room I didn't take notes for her I asked her are you talking about my own action she said no I'm talking about her own actions and the team's actions that was discussed in the meeting that was a moment that really spoke to me the realization that I should not only focus on my current role I was so intent making sure that i was really good at what i was doing but i failed to realize that there are other stuff that i should be knowing and be interested because you no know, i need to be my supporter for my boss i should be not only supporting myself but supporting my boss and also the entire team and that's where the value comes in that was a lesson that really spoke to me so enter into the world of hip pocket skill is one of the skills that you hone from the key competencies that you identify on yourself one of indra's hip pocket skill was the ability to simplify super complex problems into something that was so easily understandable so easily workable in fact when things go wrong the ceo and the chairman would just pull her in and say hey just solve this problem for us despite her having other key responsibilities in the company she made herself so indispensable that she was always the person that people will look for whenever they had problems to solve lesson number two 
is courage and confidence. To Indira, it's very concerning when somebody comes up with an idea to the chairman or the CEO or the leaders. Hey, I think this is a great idea. Can you look at it? And the moment the leaders criticize or condemn or object, dismiss that idea, you go, all right, I understand your message and now we'll drop this idea. A lot of us, especially in the Asian region, we tend to adopt having the mentality of respecting the elders, respecting seniority in the leadership rather than dropping the idea or changing your mind to follow what others feedback to you it is about the conviction you have on this idea that you propose if you don't have conviction about the thing you propose there's no point supporting you in whatever you do because you will not defend your point of view so if you took the point to understand how the analysis was done what are the different points of view on this specific proposal that you want to present and you study the material that was presented to you and you are fully convinced that is the way to go for the organization then nobody can knock you off you should be able to stand there and say look you may not be able to understand what i have to say but i'm going to put it in a different perspective i'm going to articulate to you in a different way as i honestly believe that this is the way that we ought to go because sometimes people don't get it the first time come to it in a different way i'm proposing something up there my boss doesn't like it let me come back to you in a different way same suggestion same outcome i'm conceptualizing it in a different way i'm seeing the right approach i'm getting it to you because i'm convinced of the outcome after four or five tries they might get it they might not because they know that you have looked at every perspective before you recommended the direction to have the courage and the confidence to speak up to the leadership that is an important skill to have lesson number three is communication it is so important that you are able to bring the idea or your convictions or your directions to your team and you do not do that with a lot of information instead you do it with a very simplified way with the fewest words as possible in a way that gives people people a very good picture that means you are speaking in pictures let me give you an analogy it's just like when you're on a plane high up in the sky you don't see the people you don't see the dog walking on the streets you see a very big area of buildings or apartments or a row of houses that's all you see so when you are in the leadership level what you communicate and what you see is actually the overall picture many of us tend to go on deductive thinking you lay out all the facts first this is how the program works and these are the servers and these are the applications that connect to it and therefore I recommend this is the solution to go for the organization in order to reduce costs and reduce the number of applications that go into it. So that is deductive sharing. That you lay out all the facts and then you come to that conclusion. Interest suggestion is actually go for inductive thinking. Here's the decision that I think that organization should go with and here are the reasons why. You are able to bring people right to the point with the least number of words least number of technicalities then you're able to simplify your message you're able to get the masters to follow you so it's important in the leadership level not to be too tactical but rather to be a little bit more strategic in your communication of your message so the next question is how do I hone these communication skills well it's not a textbook answer it's not something that you study from chapter 1 to 10 and you become a great speaker being a great speaker is something that you you need to hone, you need to practice, you need to observe, you need to watch, you need to imitate. And how do you do that? One of the things, if you are a student, then I would say participating in debates in school are one of the safest platforms where you can voice out your opinion on different points of view and you get criticized, but in a safe environment where it's just play, it's just something that you practice on. Well, if you are in the corporate organization, you're not a student anymore, then and another platform that you can try is being in the Toastmasters. There are Toastmasters clubs everywhere around the world. Look it up on Google and you will be able to find Toastmasters in your own region. And one of the things is just to participate in Toastmasters meeting, give a speech, 
participate in table topics. It is a platform where everyone wants to learn from each other and it's okay to make mistakes. It's a great place for you to practice and practice and practice, giving evaluations, giving feedback, learning to receive feedback from others. And you can see based on listening from people's different point of views. And another way to do it is by just like what I'm doing now, create your own videos on YouTube. This is a very safe platform. If you're not keen on meeting people, then create your videos in an environment where you feel safe. You are free to speak however you like. You are free to post how many videos you want till the time that you feel comfortable. Make as many videos as you want, 100, 200. And by then, you are able to reflect. You're able to look at your own videos and see, hey, I look so serious in my videos. I'm not smiling as much as I would like it to be. I'm not enunciating the words as clearly as I wish I could. And I'm just mumbling the words away. So these are the things that you can see whenever you record yourself. You will play back your own videos. You can see what are things that you can do better. Another technique that Indra shared was look up all those great speakers like Obama. Yes, we can. Martin Luther King, I have a dream, Kennedy's speech on putting a person on the moon, or Ronald Reagan's bring the wall down. And get the extract of the speeches, practice these speeches, repeat them. It's about a little bit of what you say and how you say it, how fast, the tonality, the conviction you have when you express yourself. And by using these multiple platforms to practice your speech, you would be able to deliver a better speech, a better way of speaking to others so that people will listen. So I'd like to sum up three important points that I learned from Indra. The first is degrees are not everything. It is about what you do with them, how you're able to utilize them so that you can create value to your organization. And number two is about having courage and confidence to be convicted on what you believe in. So you gotta do a lot of study before you present your points to the leadership. Study the materials and be convinced that you have gone through all the different points of views before you come to the conclusion. If you're challenged, you're able to counter that challenge because you have already studied different viewpoints. You know that you have taken a lot of measures before you come to that conclusion. Don't back down. Be brave and deliver the message. You can make a difference with what you have because at the end of the day, it's going to affect the entire organization. If you do not speak up, who will? And number three is to practice clear as day communication. Don't go tactical, instead go strategic. Explain in pictures. Explain in high level point of view. Explain in a way that's easy to understand. Don't overcomplicate your message. Keep it clear and engaging so that people will always remember what you have said. If it's something just normal, just something theory that you're talking about, they'll forget it within a few days. Go ahead and create a difference but with the three C's. Competencies, courage and confidence, and communication. I hope that you enjoyed this message. If you have friends, who need to hear this, share it with them. When you learn to teach, when you learn to share, you will get a hundredfold in return. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, remember to press subscribe and follow my YouTube video so that the next time a new video will come out, you'll be notified. If you have any question or any request on communications and leadership, do put your comments down and I will review it, maybe make video about it in my next sharing. See you soon in my next video. Thank you. Bye.